Hi everyone, Eric Stockland again with Charter Bay Home Builders, and I want to talk real quick about the samples that we've collected. Behind me here, we've got all of our drywall samples, and then we've got our miscellaneous samples, electric switches, outlets, that kind of stuff. As per Judge Fallon's order, he only requires that you get two 10 by 10 samples of each kind of drywall that's found in the home. As you can see, we've got about 50 pieces of Chinese drywall samples behind us, and they're all done in accordance with, uh, with his order, which is you take the piece of Chinese drywall, you put a label on it indicating the room, the date, the wall it comes from, and what it actually is. You take that label, put it on the drywall, you put that piece of drywall into a Ziploc bag, and then you put the same label onto that Ziploc bag, and then you double bag it. That's basically how you do the, uh, the samples themselves. We do our samples so that as we're actually doing the demolition, we can see the markings made in China. As we see the markings as we go through, then what we'll do is we'll cut out the piece, and then this is what you get. So every single one of these samples in this box actually says made in China on it. So in the event that our client ever ends up in a court of law, they've got good solid evidence. This, in addition to the photographs of every single piece of drywall that was taken out, um, are what's required. So that's the, uh, the drywall pieces themselves. We also have, Judge Fallon requires that one piece of drywall end tape from each kind of drywall found in the home is kept. We actually have about 10 different samples here, so we've got multiples of what's shown including we've got some good markings in here for um, the Chinese stuff with the Chinese writing on it, the name of the manufacturer on it. So that's the, uh, that's the end tape. We also have some uh, additional plumbing components. Um, all of them, once again, are double bagged, labeled. Everything gets double bagged. We have security keypads, which are kept. We have uh, a great deal of switches. What the, what the order requires is that there are three switches and three outlets from Chinese drywall um, walls within the home. And he also wants to see three switches and three outlets um, if there's any non-Chinese drywall walls. We've got uh, many, many more switches and outlets than are required. It's better to be safe than sorry. Uh, we also keep the water valves that are taken from the individual sinks, which show the corrosion on them. They show the, uh, the black tarnish. And what else do we have in our little box that I can share? Switches, outlets, ah, fire extinct or the, uh, the smoke carbon monoxide detectors. Uh, he requires that you keep two of these. We've actually kept four and uh, we take them in such a way that we keep the wiring on the back of them so that you can see the, the corrosion caused by the Chinese drywall. Once again, the idea of keeping these is that it's a fire safety issue. If they're in fact corroding, um, you're going to have a, a system that fails and in the event of a fire doesn't notify you. So those are smoke detectors and we've got, um, actually we've got another security pad, we've got one of our HVAC controllers and every single piece is all done the same way. The piece is put into a bag, labeled, and then put into another bag. These are actually door stops and the door stops in this home have been a really, really good example of the, of the tarnish created by the Chinese drywall. They show it really well. I've got another piece, um, which is one we're not actually gonna submit for evidence, and I'll show you close up how that actually um, looks on the, on the door stops. So that gives you an idea of you know, what the sample uh, themselves look like, and we're gonna turn these over today to the attorney so that he has them, and he now has them in the chain of custody. That's it for now. Eric Stockland with Charter Bay Home Builders. Till next time.